Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie Essen. We have with us our co-host and developer extraordinaire, Ragesh Hajela, who has recently joined Intel as an AI developer. Welcome, Ragesh. Hi there, excited to be here. So let's tell the people what they can expect from this show to start us off. We'll give you updates on tools and resources from Intel to help edge developers like you self-enable in your innovations. We'll also point you to popular developer blogs and articles, as well as new courses, tutorials, sample codes, and demos. We'll also give you some new use cases and reference implementations, as well as the latest software releases and product launches. And of course, some upcoming events and workshops that you yourself can participate in. Tell us something about your first few months at Intel working on edge AI technologies. It's incredible to be here, uh, solving real world problems and building edge AI applications using Intel's OpenVINO toolkit. That's great. So I understand you've built an AI application already. So can you give us a sneak peek on it? Yes, definitely. I can show you a live demo of object detection with a webcam. And this notebook uses a TensorFlow model with OpenVINO. Just load the model from Open Model Zoo, initialize the inference engine, and here we go. Oh, cool. So there's a remote. Oh, I got it. Yeah, cell phone. Cool. What else you got? An apple. <laughs> that's, so, that's really cool. Yeah. And a bottle. Yeah, that seems like pretty accurate too. Like it picks it up pretty quickly. And a wine glass, my favorite. <laughs> so I'll let everyone try this out. All the code is available in the open source, open Vino notebooks, GitHub repo. Yeah, this is super cool. And I can imagine lots of use cases for this. And I know folks will definitely be interested in trying this out for themselves. So let's make sure to leave a link in the description and you know learn how to do it. Uh, so, once AI inference, Ragesh, looks good, how are models deployed on the edge and have you come across any innovation around that recently at Intel? Yes, uh, OpenVINO model server helps to serve ML models at scale. It uses the uh, same architecture and API as TensorFlow serving. Uh, but since TensorFlow serving includes TensorFlow itself as a dependency, uh, its memory footprint is quite large. Intel engineers have introduced preview version of a new lightweight package called OVMS Client. It's much more compact, consumes less physical memory, and enhances overall inference performance. Did you get a chance to try it with the code? Yes, uh, I just followed the steps mentioned in this article to run predictions and it's very easy to use. Started with Docker Run to deploy OpenVINO model server with ResNet 50 image classification model. Installed this new package using pip. Created a gRPC connection to the server and got the predictions on test image of a zebra. Yeah, this is great to see it working so smoothly. So I want to know what resources you used to put the demo together. Yeah, I'm reading through a lot of content available on the Intel software resources. Uh, the OpenVINO Toolkit official documentation page, uh, support forums, GitHub, and our AI and Edge course materials and trainings. We also just launched our new Intel Collective on Stack Overflow. Yeah, this is rad and just a reminder of how much Intel really puts out there for developers to go and learn on their own. And so very cool, Ragesh. I can't wait to see what else you bring to us in the next episode and, you know, getting updated on all your developer journeys with AI applications and building those going forward. Thanks, Steph. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, and one more announcement for everybody before we sign off. The new 2022.1 release of OpenVINO is here. Uh, this release is optimized for AI inference and brings expanded NLP support, device portability on your hardware, and higher inferencing performances. And we've also included all the links to the resources Ragesh mentioned, so make sure to check them out, bookmark them for your next application build, and also stay tuned for episode two in a couple of weeks. Ragesh is going to show us an AI healthcare demo with OpenVINO, along with a few latest edge innovations. So thanks for watching.